allowing me to be able to stand here today in your presence, Lord. It's not by my own, but it's by your breath that I'm standing, Lord, and I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I was given the topic, Paul's Service for Christ. From Colossians 1, verses 23 through 29. Colossians 1, verses 23 through 29. You dare say amen. Amen. All right, we'll start at the verse 23. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, wherefore I, Paul, am made a minister. Now let's pause there. Let's go back a little bit. At first, Paul, was his name was Saul. He was working hard, working diligently. Doing what he thought was right, persecuting the church, putting the church away, having him killed. You can read that in Acts 9. But the Lord turned and changed his motives. Just like Corinne had just said, when you set your affections, your new affections, things above, putting away the old man and stepping on to the new man. His service, Paul's service, he gave up his own task, his own ambitions to take on another. Who was this task that he's taking on? He took on the task of being a fisherman for God, being a servant for God, being an apostle for God, mm -hmm. being a witness mm -hmm. for God. You see, we can say it many times, I'm a servant of God. We can say it, but do we really put our necessities on the low so we can pick up his own? Mm -hmm. Do we really put ourselves in the back burner and, and put Jesus first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we say, well, oh, I put God first. I seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, but when the time comes... Mm -hmm. When the pressure is on, when the, the heat is boiling up to the point where it's about to explode, what do you do? Do you, do you panic? Do you lose focus? Or do you simply, you know, you know what? I know I'm in a tough one right now, but God, I know you bring me through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you got it in first. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then it says, continue in the faith. Ground it and sell. Now, I'm always reading a lot from the Bible with different uh, parables when Jesus and other people in the Bible were speaking about being rooted and grounded. In the faith. Yes. What does that truly mean? When you when something is rooted, I was out in the parking lot the other day and there was a weed that was rooted in the cement because it had grown mm -hmm. through the cement. You know, you see sometimes the grass grows to the concrete. Mm -hmm. And as I tried to pull it, it wouldn't budge at all. Why? Because it was so rooted and grounded below the cement mm -hmm. that it wouldn't even come up. You see, when we're rooted and grounded in faith, then it's gonna be very hard to pluck us. <coughs> it's gonna be very hard to move us. Mm -hmm. But you see, it's not impossible though. But you know why we shouldn't worry? Why we shouldn't be waiting? Why we shouldn't be worried about it? Because if we live for God and we serve God, then we shouldn't have to worry about being plucked up. We shouldn't have to be worried about being trodden down or weathering. Because if we live for God, it's said, our leaf mm -hmm. shall not see the, the damage of the sun. We will prosper if we live for God. We will proceed. We will have yes. success. Amen. If we live for God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Rooted and grounded in faith. Faith is not just something that we should have, but it is a substance of things hopeful. Mm -hmm. You see, we can't just take this as, oh, I have faith in God, but, but do you truly have it? The Bible says it is impossible, impossible. Now, we always hear that it is, and by God, all things are possible, but the word tells us that it is impossible to please God without faith. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't have faith, then what do we have? We have doubt, disbelief. We can't come to God and say, oh, God, I know you're going to get me my house. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, we got to come to God. God, I know what you're going to do. And I, you know what? I don't even see it right now, but I know that it's already done for me. Amen. So, Lord, I'm speaking this in faith. We got to proclaim it out of our mouths. Yes. There is power in this tongue, not just of, of life and death, but there is power mm -hmm. to preach the word, be in, in season, be out of season. Mm -hmm. There's power in our tongue. Settle. Have your mind made up. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Mm -hmm. Have our minds settled. Settle your mind in Christ. Settle your mind in his word. We've come this far by faith. Mm -hmm. Leaning on the Lord. Yes. So as we worship the Lord, as we put all of our all into the Lord, then we should be rendering some service to him. Mm -hmm. What kind of service? Studying your Bible, reading your Bible, going yeah. out to the highways of the byways, proclaiming his name so that people will know That's right. that there is a God that cares for them. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Paul said, 
I'm gonna read this in the uh, in the um, uh, Amplified version that I was studying this morning, and, and when I read it, I was so dumbfounded. He said, "His Paul said, if you continue in the faith, steadfast, not shifting or moving." He said, don't be moved away. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't fade away from the gospel which you heard, which was preached unto you. And Paul said, because of this gospel, because of this good news, I became a minister. Because of this. Come on now. Because of the word, I am yes. made a minister. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So because of all the things that he had witnessed, all the things he had heard, what he's read, because of his own faith, he said, you know what? This life that I was living isn't the life for me. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to tell you that to yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing right now, this is what I should be doing because it's not good for me. You can work out so much that you can put such a strain on your body. You can have a heart attack. You can faint, pop a hernia. Mm -hmm. We think we're doing the right thing. We're getting the results that seem good to our own selves. Mm -hmm. But in the end, wow. what is it profiting us? Mm -hmm. Your bodily exercise profited 